Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. All right, I'm doing some videos on puberty, so I have a separate one on male anatomy. This one is on female anatomy. So just kind of going through stages and expecting uh, or expectations of what is coming and how to measure how far along in puberty you are. So in the medical world, we use something called Tanner staging, which basically is a measurement of what stage or how far along in puberty you are. There are five stages. One is birth up until the start of puberty. Stage two is really the start of puberty. And then you have stage three, four, and then stage five is adult-like body parts. So the other thing to think about is puberty is run by a couple of different hormone sets. And so not everything is gonna happen exactly at the same time. So specifically things like uh, pubic hair and acne are sort of run by a different set of hormones compared to breast development and periods. So um, I'll cover both of them and kind of tell you where they usually fall in with each other, but it's totally normal if things are a little bit out of order for you. All right, so stage one of puberty, again, is going to be still childlike. And for those with female anatomy, stage two or starting puberty can happen anywhere between the age of eight up until 13 is considered what is normal. So if you notice any sort of puberty development between that time period, you're technically considered normal. And if you notice puberty development either before or after, it's okay. Talk to your doctor. Um, it's nothing to panic about, but there are just some things that we want to look over and make sure everything is going along as scheduled. But don't panic. Normal start is between 8 to around 13 years old, but um, it varies from person to person. So the first stage of puberty for those with female anatomy is going to be what we call breast bud development. And that is specifically just a little fat tissue underneath the nipple. And that's it. That's the first sign of puberty. Around this time or a little bit later, you might also notice uh, some pubic hairs in the private area. And they're mostly just going to be a couple. So a few, excuse me, a few darker, coarser pubic hairs in the private area on the mons pubis. So the area um, at the front of the pubic bone. But that's really the extent of Tanner 2 staging pubic hair. So this on average happens around the age of 10, but I already told you there's a big range for what's normal, okay? So then stepping up to stage three, breast growth, you're going to notice more fat distribution in the skin underneath the area surrounding the nipples. So just a little bit more breast tissue, great. You'll also notice a little bit more pubic hair in the private area. So just filling in really more adult-like in consistency. So a little bit thicker, maybe coarse or curly, um, depending on your genetics, but um, that pubic hair is gonna start to fill in a little bit more. The other thing to think about around this time period is that you might start to notice a little bit of a clear or white vaginal discharge. This usually happens about a year or so before the first period. Totally normal, totally natural, but that's gonna be on average around the age of 11, 11 and a half or so um, is when we start to notice a little vaginal discharge. The other thing that happens around this same time is gonna be the growth spurt for females. So compared to males, growth spurt happens a little bit earlier for those with female anatomy. Um, and there are a variety of reasons for that, but it's totally normal. So usually about, oh, a year and a half or so into puberty, on average, you'll have that growth spurt. Then moving on to what we would call stage four of puberty. And that's going to be with breast development, a little bit more breast tissue, depending on your genetics um, and how much breast tissue you are supposed to have. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is we call it kind of a double mound, or there's a 
the nipple stands out a little bit from the rest of the breast tissue. So it's not a smooth transition from nipple and areola to the surrounding breast. It's more of a mound of the nipple and then the rest of the breast. So sort of a mound on a mound. Um, that's stage four, <laughs> and that's kind of how breasts typically develop. And then in the pubic region, you will notice a lot more pubic hair. Um, it won't spread to the inner thighs just yet, but it will be pretty full and again, adult-like in consistency. So darker, coarser, and thick, maybe curly, depending on your genetics. And around this time, so usually on average around the age of 12 to 12 and a half, is when the first period happens. And it can be light brown, it can be red and bloody, it can be pink, but it's going to be some sort of a bloody type discharge from the vagina. And that will be the first period. Keep in mind it will take a couple years for everything to get totally normal on schedule with your period, but the first period usually happens around 12 to 12 and a half. And that's kind of the big deal in the big part of puberty. The end of puberty, so stage five, on average is again around the age of 15, but that's just an average. Everyone's a bit different depending on when you started. And that's going to be marked by then the breast tissue will be, the nipple and the areola, areola will be level or flush with the surrounding tissue of the breast. Um, the breasts will be distinct from one another. so. Um, that will be your full breast development and then full pubic hair development as well. So hair on the inner thighs is going to be the marker for stage five of puberty. And those are the big events of female puberty in a nutshell. And remember, if you have a question for Ask Dr. T, you can either respond in this video or submit through my website, askdrt.net.